Okay, so far we've had a look at positive scale factors, we've had a look at fractional scale factors, and we've had a look at scale factors of negative 1. Now our last one here is looking at what happens when we've got a scale factor that's negative 2 or negative 3 or something like that. Okay, so we've got to have a look at what this actually means. Now we know that a negative scale factor makes us do the opposite and flips the shape. So our negative scale factor of 1 meant that we were counting to the right rather than to the left and up rather than down. We also know from the first video we looked at that a scale factor of 2 multiplies everything by 2. So this means that here we're going to be finding the opposite and then multiplying it by 2. So if we start by labelling our points again, there's A, there's B, there's C. If I look at A, now A is 2 left and 2 down. Okay. Now the negative bit means we change the way that we're going. So rather than left we go right and rather than down we go up. Now the second bit means that we need to multiply each of these by 2. So rather than go across 2, we're going to be going across 4, because that's 2 lots of 2. And the same here, 2 times 2 is 4. So my new A is going to be 4 right and 4 up. Same process now for the other two points. B is 2 left. Now, the opposite of left is right, and 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. So my new B will be 4 squares to the right. And C, well that's 5 squares left, double 5 is 10, so we're going to be going the opposite direction, 10 squares to the right. And now if we just draw our shape in, there we go, now we've got our new shape, which is a flip, okay, it's rotated again, it's turned around. It's also twice as big as the original shape, so this length here was 2, so this length is now 4. This length was 3, so this new length is 6. So we've got a flip, and we've also got an enlargement of 2. So when you're looking at negative scale factors, the negative bit means you end up doing the opposite. The number tells you about the size of the new shape. Now something you might want to think about is what would happen if we had an enlargement with a scale factor of minus 3 over 2. You should now be able to say well, what that will do. Well, the negative sign means that we do the opposite, so we're going to get a flipped shape. The 3 on the top means that we're going to be multiplying by 3, and the 2 on the bottom means that we're going to be dividing by 2. And once you've calculated each one of those each time, you're going to have to do the opposite because we've got our negative sign. So that should now enable you to do any question involving enlargement of a shape with any kind of scale factor.